Right, now we're going to have Chanil talking about how to make a travel video vlog uh, and ways to create immersive content with Insta360 cameras. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Just to make sure, can everyone hear me? Can you hear me at the back? Can you give me a wave if you can hear? All right, great, awesome. Thank you so much for attending. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, it's my first time in Ireland. It's my first time attending IVR PRA. And it's an absolute pleasure to be here today. I've been learning from so many talented professionals in the industry. And I'm just being mind blown by everything that I've seen. So what a great event. My name is Chanel and I'm representing Insta360 today. Insta360 is a camera company and I am their brand ambassador. So what does that mean? So I don't work for Insta360, but I do love using their cameras. And that's why they brought me here today with Tom, who is our UK Insta360 distributor, to show you what Insta360 cameras can do. And I know there are plenty of 360 professionals in the room. And the thing we love to do the most is vlog about our lives. And any 360 professional is also a parent, a sibling, a friend, and even a boyfriend or girlfriend. And what we all love to do is make videos to document our personal lives. And these are the videos that mean the most to us. And I finally found a way to document our lives in the easiest way possible. And that's what I want to talk to you today about. But I have a question for you guys. How many of you have your summer holidays planned? Put your hands up. If you're going to be exploring a new city, maybe hiking a mountain, or if you're going to go diving into the ocean. I think everyone else who hasn't put their hand up, a last minute plan is like me, that's okay. Last minute trips are the best, very spontaneous. And uh, have you guys thought about which cameras are you going to use on your summer holidays? Yeah? Hands up if you're going to use your phone. Okay, lots of people are going to use their phones. Hands up if you're going to use your GoPro camera or any type of action camera. Wonderful. And how many of you are going to use your 360 cameras? Ah, quite a lot. Okay, that's great. And very specifically about 360 cameras, I want to talk about free capture today. Because free capture is a whole new way of capturing your memories. So here in my hand, I have the Insta360 ONE X. It's one of the latest and best cameras by Insta360. And in this hand, I have the invisible selfie stick. And as you can see, it's very portable, light, and travel friendly. I had this around my neck. I just pulled out the stick from out of my pocket. Very easy to travel with. This stick can extend up to one meter long. And a 360 camera captures everything around you. So right now, it's capturing everything in front. Is capturing me behind and everything to the left and the right. So you will never miss anything happening around you. Now let me ask you another question. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Do you brush your teeth or check your phone first? Check your phone. Check your phone. And what's kind of the first thing you do when you check your phone? Do you go on Facebook? Do you go on Instagram? I think we want to see what our friends and family are doing. So this is where people are consuming media, especially video. But what are they watching? 360 video or normal video? Has anyone put in a headset as soon as they woke up? I don't think so. So what is the next best way of showing your 360 video? It's called free capture. And free capture is a way of taking a 2D video out of a 360 video. So imagine this video is recording right now from this camera, and this is my 16 by 9 frame. I can look up towards this screen and pan around to our lovely audience to show this is my experience at IVR PA. And that's what everyone's going to watch, a very short 15 second clip to show this is my experience. And let's, let's be honest, people are quite lazy. They don't want to kind of turn around a video that early in the morning. They just want to see something really super simple 
that they can consume in 15 seconds and move on with their lives. And this is why free capture is so important. And I'm going to show you how you can use free capture with the Insta360 One X. So this shot that you can see on the screen right now is me walking towards the Millennium Center in Wales. It looks like someone is following me, or it could even be a drone. But actually, what's happening there is me putting the stick behind me like this and walking. I don't need to worry about framing because it's seen everything at, at all times. Can your GoPro do that? Can your phones do that? Of course not. You've got to worry about framing. And this is the major advantage of 360 cameras. And I'm going to show you some other cool tricks you can do with just this setup. So let me show you a one minute travel vlog video I made just using the Insta360 One X and the invisible selfie stick. So let's take a look. That was all made just using this setup. And you can do exactly the same uh, when you're on holiday. And in that video, you saw 11 different shots. And all you need to do is point this in different directions to simulate all those shots. And this is what I'm going to show you. So just to give you an idea, this is just some of the many, many shots that you can do. So when you saw me walking with the One X facing myself, all I did was have the camera in front of me like this and walked. And I don't need to worry about the camera. I just need to focus and enjoy the moment. And then in editing, using free capture, I can look at myself and pan the camera around to look the other side where I'm going. And if something happens to the left or right of you, you've got it. You don't need to worry or point the camera. So it's very, very effective. Now, a typical dolly shot would be putting tracks on the ground and then getting the camera to follow you. But with a 360 camera, all I did was this and begin walking. And again, no need to worry. Just very simple movements. And this is a very light stick. It's very simple to use. I also did a drone shot. And what I did was put the camera really low to the ground and then moved it up like this. Very simple to go from a low angle to a high angle. And let me show you another stick, which is three meters long. This is only one meter long. So this is another stick by Insta360 called the extended selfie stick. It's made out of carbon fiber and aluminum, so it's really, really strong. And you'll see how far it goes. Hello, guys. That's how far I can go, and I'm still on the stage. And so I went to the cliffs of Moha recently, and what I did is I walked very close to the edge and pointed it out like this, so you can see the cliffs below me. You can see how, how high we are, and you can get the view of me walking along the edge. These are impossible angles that you could never get before until a 360 camera came along in this size, which is really, really light, to get epic high angles that you could never do before. Now, how many of you have filmed in places where there is, don't fly your drones here. They did not say anything about long selfie sticks. So, 
Think about all those areas where you've gone where you can't get permissions to use a drone, but you can use this to get a height of three meters. So you're probably wondering, how do you put this together on the app? Well, let me show you some, a few examples on my Instagram page. So if you can switch to the second input, please. Great. Okay, so this is my personal Instagram page, at Chanel Cable. So if you do want to take a look at some of these videos, you may just go to Instagram. You can also do things like a tiny planet. All you need to do is put the one X on this handle on the ground and run around it. You can also make a time lapse and you can reframe it later. You can mount it in a car and move around. So think about your Top Gear style shots. And there's something called bullet time, where the camera spins above your head. So let me give you a demonstration of how that works. So I have the invisible selfie stick. I've mounted the camera onto it. This is called the bullet time handle. I mount the selfie stick onto this. And again, these are all very small pieces that you can carry around really easily. I'm going to fully extend the selfie stick. And I think there's nothing around me that I'm going to bash. And this is what it, this is what it really looks like when you film it. And that video has been filmed at 3K 100 frames per second, so that's why it's appearing much slower. So imagine to all the cool locations you can go and do this exact movement to get a view like that. So how on earth do you edit these shots? How difficult is it? So let's take a look at the editing app. So this app is called the Insta360 ONE X app. So after you filmed all your footage, you then download the footage from the camera onto this app. I then tap on the footage that I want to edit. And here you can see there are a bunch of options. And I can move my thumb across the screen to look around the 360 video. Now I've got the video start, at the, I got the video at the beginning. Now I want to add a pivot point. A pivot point tells the software that this is where I want to look in the video at this point in time. So to add a pivot point, I first want to look at this woman's face. I'm going to hold my thumb down on her face and tap pivot point. So now the software knows at the beginning of the video, I want to look at her face. Now I want to focus on her face for the next four seconds. So, so I'll add another pivot point on her face just by holding my thumb down on it and tapping pivot point. But now, in the next second, I want to move to see this very tall fellow. So I'm going to hold down on his face and add a pivot point. Now, if we play that back, you can see that it comes up to the pivot points and it reframes. It's that simple. Now, if I hold down anywhere on the footage, there's something called Viewfinder. Now, when I, type view, when I press Viewfinder and tap the tiny planet on the right-hand side, it will give you the infamous tiny planet view. It is really that simple on the app. And then when you want to export your video, you tap the third button on the top, tap Local. You can see a preview of your video and then tap export to download it to your phone. And then you're ready to go to upload it onto social media.
Some other things I should mention about the Insta360 ONE X is that it has excellent stabilization. This thing doesn't need a gimbal. Like you saw in that video, it was all done just using the invisible selfie stick and this camera. It has something called six axis stabilization. And this means you can walk with it without any, you can walk with it without any shake. Simply like this. And this is one of the best features of this camera. Now, if you wanted to, you can just put it on a stand, and I'm using a Joby. This has a quarter-inch screw thread on the bottom, so you can add it to a Joby or may maybe a Manfrotto super clamp and do time lapses or maybe even virtual tours. And another feature that this camera has is HDR video mode. And you can do that to get the best dynamic range out of this camera. Something else it can do is that it has stats, which means if you love to go skiing or on a bike ride, then you can record how fast you're going, how far you're going up, down, and so many other different types of stats. There are different filming modes, and the highest filming mode on this camera is 5.7K video. And what you saw on that screen was 5.7K video using free capture, which takes a portion of that video. Is that good quality? Well, I put the question to you. What did you think of that video? Was that high quality? Nod yes or no? OK? Well, 99% of the time, these videos will be watched on a mobile phone, tablet, or PC. The 1% of the time, it's played on such a massive screen like this. So your audience will be happy to see this kind of quality on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. It's all about how you tell your story and what you tell your audience. Don't worry about the quality. If you find that good enough, then the quality is good. Now, if you do want slow motion, there is 4K 50 frames per second mode, and there is also 3K 100 frames per second mode. I used 3K 100 frames per second in that video you just saw. So if you still think the video is good, then you can see that using any mode, you can still get really high quality videos. That's everything I have to say about the Insta360 ONE X, and I would like to open the floor to any questions you may have. Thank you. Oh, sorry, Jack, I left you out. <laughs> sorry, Jack. Um, so this is Jack, and um, he's here with me today because uh, he wanted me to show you that there are lots of Insta360 accessories. And um, Jack loves to see himself run. So there is a pet harness for the Insta360 ONE X. So if you have a pet, yes, you can mount the Insta360 ONE X on your pet. And Jack loves it. He loves to see himself run. So, there is something called the Venture Case, and the Venture Case protects your One X from getting damaged. So, you can put the Venture Case on, and hopefully, Jack will not damage your camera. <laughs> okay, we now have a working mic. So, our uh, next question here, and then there was something. Uh, the question about HDR video. Uh, what is the best way how to use it, or what the limitation of it? Uh, where is better use or where is better not to use? So HDR video on the One X records at 
5.7K, 25 frames per second. And you can only use HDR on the Insta360 ONE X when it is still like it is now. The hardware is still, in the next version, we'll probably see that they'll be able to use HDR when moving. Um, there's so much packed into this at a small form factor. So the limitation is you cannot use HDR when the camera is moving. You can only use HDR video mode when it is still like you're seeing right now. But I have to say, this is the only camera that can do HDR video. Oh, um, so I have a GoPro Fusion, and I, I really love my GoPro yes. Fusion. I've had it for about a year. Um, but your presentation was awesome. And so Thank I'm you. thinking, like, OK, maybe I need this camera. Yeah. Can you say something? Like, what do you think would get me to buy that, knowing that I have a GoPro Fusion? Like, sure. Like, yeah, the Insta360 ONE X versus GoPro Fusion. Well, we already got some laughs, so you already know the answer. So um, the GoPro Fusion uses two SD cards. There's already a problem. The workflow is not very good. I just demonstrated on the ONE X app that you can easily turn your raw footage into a finished video really, really fast. And I demonstrated that in this presentation. You cannot do the same for the GoPro Fusion. This is made for people on the go. It's traveling, like I was. It's made to be easy and accessible to anyone. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, the GoPro Fusion app is not good, so. And I think the workflow is the most important thing in these new cameras. It's not how much resolution can you pump into it. It's about how easy is it to get your video up onto social media. Thank you for your question. So I saw a lot of transition. Do you have a lot of effects that can add? I saw a lot of nice uh, transition in scenes and so on. But I'd like to know how to add. Is it in the app or on desktop? Or? It's a great question. So there are a number of ways to edit your video on the Insta360 ONE X. So the workflow I just demonstrated was on the uh, Insta360 ONE X app. The other way is if you want to pump more quality into your videos, there is Insta360 Studio 2019, and that is free software. Now on there, you can stitch your footage to the highest quality 5.7K video, and then you can put that into a video editor to add your transitions. So that came from a video editor and not Insta360 software itself. But if you want to pump even more quality into your videos, you can take your raw INSV files, which is what the camera produces, and drag it straight into Premiere Pro for editing. Does that answer your question? Thank you very much. Thanks for your presentation. I'm wondering if either you or anybody in this room is aware of um, a situation where you can use two of these on a, on a mount to have a stereoscopic. So recording, pressing record on both cameras and then produce a, a stereo 360 um, movie. That's a very niche use of the cameras, so I haven't personally tried that myself. Um, but if there was a use case for that, um, that's, that's got to be experimented with. I don't have the answer whether it can be used in that. But there are cameras up the line, like the uh, Insta360 Pro 2, um, which might be more suited to, towards those kind of use cases. But I think this is mainly for action, family, um, and holidays, I would say. Does that answer your question? Yeah. For example, and having a stereo drone shooting, which, you know, if I want to do it with an Insta360 Pro, I need a very big drone and yeah. you know, all of the risks involved. If I broke two of these, okay, still, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it really depends on the use case because we previously demoed this of how you can use this to film an interview. So let's just take you guys, for instance. If you guys were talking to each other, this 360 camera is filming, we could crop a free capture shot of you talking and a free capture shot of you talking and merge it together. But it was all done in one camera. So you can get two or three shots for the price of one. And that's really special about this. Like I said, this camera could be filming me, and then I can turn it around to show you guys. So there's so many different ways to tell your story with free capture. Oh, that's that's game-changing. Absolutely. Right, are there any more questions?
questions. Okay, uh, after this we now are going to move to workshops.